How's it going everyone? Back with another exciting Enchanter video. I am now level 30. I actually came to this camp that I'm at now at 28 and it's the XP is going decent. I'll show you what I'm doing. This is off the beaten path camp. I've never seen anyone doing this nor did I ever ever think about doing it. But um, I was kind of desperate trying to find a good camp um, for me to level up at. And I went everywhere and all the camps were taken that I could find. I went to Unrest, which I'm by now. Where am I at? What's the name of this place called? Dragnor's Cauldron, you know, where uh, Unrest is. Uh, Unrest is heavily camped. Miss Moore was camped. I went back to Upper Guck, but I'm kind of high for there. Now I couldn't find any deep. Decent places there. I went over in a Krunark. I looked um, at the the forest giant camp uh, camp in Worstless Woods. That's taken. Um, I went to the the hulking brutes in Worstless Woods. That was camped. I went to Lake Ill Omen to the Sarnak Fortress. Like everything was just taken. And I like camps like the spiders that I was at. That's you know, not too busy. You don't see a lot of people. It's usually always open. So anyways, I was like, you know what? I'm going to run back to and rest because there are earrings that drop there that are plus five charisma. And one of these Aqua Goblin title lords is I was running through aggroed on me. And I'm like, oh, they are blue. So I looked them up. They are from levels 23 to 25. Um, and there are four goblins down here. These three here have a chance to pop a Aqua Goblin Tidal Lord. Now you might think, well, that's kind of a bummer because of the timers. I mean, it's only a possibility you have to wait. But here's the beauty of the camp. They're two-minute timers. Two minutes. It's so fast. Um, how fast that these things respawn. If you were a mage, I would come here at um, 27 or 28 or so. Like, you would just mow the, this place down because of how fast that they respawn. Now, I'm not charming because of the inconsistency of not always a guaranteed tidal lord, but they are very common. They do pop a lot, and they're two-minute timers. It goes extremely quick here. So I got my pet out, and essentially, I just play wizard, and I just nuke them down. That's pretty much it. Um, the green ones, they will not pull when you pull a Tidal Lord. So, uh, because, you know, I'm too high level. So, it makes it very easy to single pull. If you get more than two Tidal Lords up, then get out a Soothe or a Lull or a Calm. Lull one and pull one at a time. Um, but, yeah, I try Charming here, but it's just, it's too inconsistent. And um, sometimes you don't get two at a time. But uh, I'm going to show you how it's done. I just get out my pet. I make sure he's a max pet first by checking his damage at max level pet at 29 hits for 26. So I got lucky in the first one. But I'll show you how it's done. Again, I'm not charming. And it's a strange camp that you're probably like, ah, it's going to be lame. No, it's awesome. And the experience. Oh, what did I just get? Oh, thank you. Thank you, kind sir. I got a sow. Wosa, oh, I'm going to go ahead and give a clarity. Oh, yeah. 29, I got clarity. Woohoo! It's freaking awesome. So, for a sow, I'll go ahead and give you a clarity. So, anyways, let's get started on this madness. I'll show you guys how it's done. This can either be a very active camp or an AFK camp because nobody ever comes here. <laughs> He's probably coming from uh, unrest right now, but yeah. So I'm going to show you guys how the magic is done. And man, if you're a mage, you would tear this place apart. So hit it with a nuke. Root. Oh, they are archers. So they will archer you from afar. And this is pretty much all I do. Um, I try to save as much mana as possible. Because they, they spawn so fast. Oh, I should have stunned first. Oh, well. I got them. Um, they spawn so fast that 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 you want to try to conserve as much mana as possible. So that's good enough for me. How's my pet doing? He's doing good. He's doing good. There we go. Boom! Again, you'll see the m magic of the two-minute spawn timer. 
They drop these water rings. I don't really know what they're for. I, I should maybe look it up. I don't know. It, it's some sort of mage item. Um, but as far as the loot that they drop, they do drop bronze weapons sometimes, which is nice. And they drop gold. I mean, 8 gold, I'll take it. Because doing spiders, not drop anything, I'm pretty freaking poor. But uh, um, I try to keep two guys down all the time um, because I want more goblins to pop. I would try all three, but my, my mana, I just can't handle it. So like on this guy, I will hit him with a small nuke to pull him up. He's going to shoot me, and then my pet's going to go in and tear him apart. Look at that. There we go. And you're going to see pretty quick, you're going to see another one pop up here. And sometimes you do get bad luck and get a string of greens, but it's very rare. Usually it's like these goblin aqua lord guy mob bobbers. They spawn like crazy. Get them. But yeah, um, I did group for a little bit too. <laughs> oh man, that was crazy. I was in unrest and I, I couldn't find a place. So I'm like, you know, there's a fire... There's a group going. Well, let me group up. And man, it is frustrating. It's like I'm an enchanter. That's my that's my job to CC and do all that fun stuff. Well, the guy comes in with with a bad pull, no problem. I'm just uh, I drop an AOE mez. All three mezes get broke because everybody's on the wrong mob. All of them come for me. I AOE stun, I lock them all down again, all three of them get broke within a couple seconds, and then I die. And that's happened, actually, uh, that's happened quite a few times. It's been, yeah, so um, I'm hoping at higher levels, when you get a little higher level, that the people will start, stop breaking mez for the love of bejesus. If you group with Enchanter, do not break their meses please because it's so frustrating it's so frustrating i'm like come on guys and then and then on the second time i we mezzed both of my stuns were down so i couldn't stun again and then i died it was terrible um my next camp i'm gonna do is gonna be up at the barkeep and unrest to get those charisma earrings i tried to do it at 29 but it was tough because it has a wear bat in there that's level 28 so I got a ton of resist and like a ton of root breaks and stuff. So I'm like, man, I got to wait a couple of levels. It's just too, the RNG is too crappy. I'm thinking about 32 or so. It should uh, even out in there because I really want those plus five um, charisma earrings. I don't want to pay for them. They're only like freaking 50 plat a piece, but only 50 plat only at, when I have no plat flow coming in. It's... um. It's really expensive. See, we, and we got a title lord. Woo woo! Yeah, I like this camp. It's so awesome. Like how fast that 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 they respawn. And I mean, I've seen these guys before. I've been killed by them on blue when I first started playing this game, and somebody told me about unrest, and I came coming. You know, I came freaking rolling through, and these title lords. As I was trying to run away from them, or all the goblins, they archered me down. <laughs> I died, and I died before I got to unrest. I couldn't get away. I didn't have Sal. And I was trying to stray from, but it doesn't matter when they're they're freaking getting. Oh, oops. It doesn't matter when they're uh, archering you in the face. Okay, now he should be running here pretty quick when that when that stun breaks. Yeah, get him, get him. Now by the time this guy dies, I should get another. Freaking goblin pop, but um, I mean, have you guys ever seen this camp done? I've never, I've never heard of anybody I'm ever killing these guys. And you know, the loot's not bad. The loot's not bad. Um, it's gold, which I'll take, and sometimes you even get yourself a bronze weapon. The only thing is, is if you get a bunch of aqua goblin lords at the same time, um. You will run out of out of mana because you can't keep them down that fast. That's why I was thinking, man, a mage would kill it here. They would do so good here because they could just park a pet down there. And who cares if you lose experience? Um, if you lose uh, half experience when these things pop, when they pop every two minutes. And I don't think I've ever been to a camp that where the respawns two minutes. Um, I was very surprised 
because when I first came here, I was like, I wonder if the Aqua Goblin Lord pops every time, and it doesn't. And I was like, wow, that sucks. And then all of a sudden, one popped back up again, and I was like, wow, that respawn time is bonkers. So, okay, pet, come on. He's just a mariner. Get him down. I should haste my pet. You know, I'm going to do that. I just don't want to waste mana, but I'm doing pretty good on mana. I'm going to give him a haste. Because there's no way he's going to outdamage me if I'm nuking. Let's do that. But 29 was a awesome level. Um, awesome level to uh, get clarity and a couple other cool spells. There are some research spells that I haven't found yet. And even if I did find them, that's all the plat she wrote right there. These spell vendors are killing me. Like, I think in my last video, I had, like, freaking 400-something plat. And everything has been spent on spells. It's crazy. Um, I did have this in my last video, but I don't think I showed it. The glowing mass that drops off of Scryers. I need help killing a person in Mist... Is it Mistmore? Yeah. I need help killing a, like, a level 32 mob or whatever Mistmore to be able to complete the quest and uh, get a charisma mask that is plus seven int and plus seven charisma enchanter only that's nice that if you buy it in the tunnel it's like 400 plat so i don't have 400 plat so um pickin said he would help me when he gets time so hopefully one of these days but this is the camp guys um it's pretty cool and as i said there are some times where I'm going to go ahead and take that third one down now. There are some times where you, you do get a couple green spawns, but it doesn't matter because they spawn every two minutes. Freaking archers. And they do drop these bows, too. They're they're crappy, and I think they sell for, for about a half a plat. So um, I will loot them, and the reason is, is right over here on this island, there is a vendor over there who you can sell to. So when you get filled up, um, when you get filled up, you can go ahead over and go over there and vendor. Yeah, I'm not getting good freaking aqua freaking lords on this one. But, yeah, crazy spawn time, though. And, like, I'm in hell level now, so, but, like, I went from, I think I was halfway into 28. I went from 28 to 30 in no time at this camp. Because it's so fast. Um, oh, see, here's a bow. I mean, it's a half a plat, and I can vendor right over there, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, yeah. So my next video is going to be at the barkeep and unrest, because I want those charisma items. And then I'm thinking about, I don't know what level I can do soul A. There, I think it's a... The, the bartender in soul A has... The Drake Hyde pants or leggings that go full that have five charisma to it as well. So I'm looking forward to getting my mask quest done and getting a couple other items. And I'm thinking at 33, um, after I get my charisma earrings and unrest, I'm going to jump over to Halfling Guards and try those. Hopefully, I there was just a big patch that that like changed a bunch of stuff. So I'm hoping. Um, there's one. So I'm hoping that they didn't nerf those freaking guards because I've made plather before on blue, before, you know. Get up. Don't archer me. So, yeah, safe camp, though. Easy camp. Easy. Low stress. Very safe. Um, the hardest thing probably is is if there's two or three of the freaking goblin lords with no big deal, you just freaking lull them. Awesomeness. But I'm looking to get back to some charming here pretty quick. Um, I did try to go back into Guck. I just couldn't find any spots. There were these f f big freaking shroom things down there that I I tried. And um, it wasn't too bad. But there is a couple of them that have the stun. It's like a 8 second stun. And... And if RNG poops on you and you get a charm break and root break at the same time, you're going to die if you get hit with, with, with that stun. Yeah, it's brutal.
Oh wow, I've never seen. Oh, that was a title war. I didn't. I didn't check that one. My bad. My bad. But you say, oh no, oh no. What are you gonna do? No problem. No problem. I do that, and then he's gonna sit there all happy. What do we got? I'm gonna have my pet doing for 73 percent. That that one's almost dead. He'll go up and get that guy. And then I will nuke him down. But yeah. If you want a really active camp, then keep all, all all three goblins cleared, and you'll just rock this place. If you want to do a semi-AFK, then keep one or two down. Easily. Easy peasy camp. And hopefully, I get some bronze drops, because I want to show you guys the bronze weapons. There's a two-handed bronze one that I have gotten a few times that I think it went for like five or six plat. You know, it's not bad. Give me something. What do you got for me? An arrow? Arrow in your butt crack? No, I don't want an arrow. Okay, what do you got? What's this? If that's a crack stuff, it's a worn grace tile. I think that goes for a couple plat. That's either the, uh, the, the, ooh, man, my pet got low. The crack staff or, or the worn grace staff. It goes for a plat or two. I don't remember which one it is. But uh, I got a couple fine steel in here too. When I was with that group, that group I almost pulled my hair out at. <laughs> I, was so, I was so frustrated. I was like, guys, please quit breaking my messes, because you know, people panic. They panic when a bad pull happens. But like, I'm getting the hang of this. I can a we mez and root and keep everything locked down. But they just uh, they I laid down that blanket mez and then they broke them like the groups attacking not focusing on one target to break everything. Oh man, and then and then I got him locked down again and I died again. There's another title lord. So as you can see, it's not like they're they're super uncommon where where you you've got to kill green ones over and over again. Um I mean they're really common. So I'll wait for my pet to get up a little bit higher and then I'll go ahead and uh met up a little bit. And as you can see on my buffs, um I only have a couple cuz I don't really care that much. I'm not really doing anything crazy. The only thing I probably should do is put on a charisma buff for when I lull. Like on these two, I will I will have to lull. Yeah, but good stuff though, man. You guys check this camp out. I've never seen it done, ever. It's always, I mean, I've been killed by these jerks when I was running by a lower level and they freaking bowed me in the back as I was trying to run away, but I never thought about actually camping here. So, and I like it. I like it. Oh, what what's my video at, y'all? What do we got here? What do we have? Let me see. We are at 18 minutes. This is probably going to bring it to a close. I'll go ahead and kill one. Is that another aqua? Oh, so now I got three aquas up. I mean, man... If they always spawn aquas, the aqua goblin title lords, then I would totally charm here, but it's just way too inconsistent. But yeah. Anyways, I'll let my pet get up a little higher and get full mana, and then I'll show you how to do it if there's three of them. But if you're a mage, come here. You will kill it here. <laughs> It'd be so easy for a mage to just park his pet down there and just let it go crazy. And you can just like sit up here and nuke every once in a while, you know? It would be like, no problem at all. I was like, ooh, I wish I had a mage. I would totally come here. I think any class, really. If you can lull, then you you can single pull these guys extremely easy. Um, as far as a safe place to sit, um, I've been attacked up here once by a rat, and I don't know where it came from. Like, I've sat up here for quite a while AFK, I've never been hit by anything, and then every once in a while, you'll get, uh, he's really low level, he can't kill you, but you'll, you'll get a rat, and the skeleton right here can sometimes be a title lord, and I think the title lord, or whatever pops in this place, w walks around the whole lake, so, uh, yeah, so every once in a while, you'll, you'll see a title lord, so just be careful, you know, if you see him coming up, it's nothing like a big deal, but... If you see them, then make sure you don't get, you know, a freaking three or four pull of these angry goblins. 
75%. Eh, it's going to be close enough for me. You know what? I better get up a charisma buff and not freaking live on the edge all the time. Because if I get a crit lull fail and pull three of them, I mean, I won't die, but it would just be a, quite a bummer. Because I'm going to run out of mana trying to keep everything locked down. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. I don't want to do that. I lulled myself many times. One thing that really sucks about grouping with an enchanter is you can't cycle through your target. And that's very frustrating. Alright, there's one down. I should have sat down for a med tick. I'll do it on this one. Yeah. No resist. That's what I'm talking about. What 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 was my Chris at? So my Chris is 160. If I can get a couple earrings and a few other pieces, I should be able to get it up to close to like 180 or so. Boom. Yeah, I'll do a small nuke. I kind of chain the the small nuke and big nuke, whatever, get it down faster. But I want to try to conserve as much mana as possible. I even tried root routing these guys, and there's another one. Please don't aggro me. There he is. You know what? Another thing I was thinking that might be a good idea is when it gets low, I can dispel the root off of it so he starts running and doesn't beat my poor pet up. So I'll just use a small nuke on this one. Perfect. Perfect. Now I have a minute and 30 seconds left on sa or on Soothe. So I'm going to get a little more mana, and then I'll tag this guy right here. Actually, he's soothed. He's not going to aggro me. I'll go see what we got for loot. See, it does drop a couple things. I should look these up and see see what they do. Okay. Let's go back up here and sit in peace. Say her. So, as you can tell, guys, this is a boring video, I know. It's nothing exciting, but I like, I love this camp. <laughs> I totally love it. On two-minute timers, it's crazy. Like, I need to hurry and get mana, or that guy's going to pop back up again. All right, you know what? Let's go for it. Let's go for it. I got enough mana. Boom. Small nuke. Sit. And if your root breaks, it's no big deal. All you do is stun him. All you do is stun of them, give them a reroute. But you do have to keep an eye on your pet's health because sometimes I don't know if it's the level 25 Aqua Goblin. Um, he can totally rock your pet. I'll give him a small nuke, maybe get him running. There we go. Yeah. Was that? Yeah, that was a small one. Perfect. Now, I'm not going to have enough mana by the time that one pops over here. Okay, give me some bronze so I can show everyone that I'm not lying. They really drop bronze. Nope. I have gotten lucky, though, and gotten a string of bronze. I think I've, which, I guess it's not much. I've probably made for 50 plat here. It's not much, but it's something because I'm so poor. <laughs> I need anything I can get. I shouldn't have done those spiders even. You know, it was such a great camp, but, oh, man, they dropped no coin or nothing, and it hurt. I'm so poor. But, anyways, guys, I, I just... I think that's it. I just wanted to show you what was going on. I'm, at, I'm already up at 23 minutes. Long video. Super easy camp. What do we got spawned here now? A mariner. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, come check this place out, though. And let me know in the comments if you guys ever seen anybody doing this. I haven't. I just ran by it a day and a half ago. And I was like, huh. I wonder what this little place is. They're blue. And there ain't nobody comes here. And they two-minute spawn. I had no clue that they were on two-minute spawn timers. Awesome stuff, super quick. If you're a mage, absolutely come here. Um, especially when you get your pet, I think it's at 28 or 29. You'll just rock this place. But all right, guys, thanks for watching. My next video should be in um, unrest at the barkeep to farm the plus five charisma earrings and get a little XP. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you're all having a good Monday. Peace.